Hello my dear student, this is Shantanu. Welcome back to my channel again. In today's class, I will discuss some more important error detection for the competitive exams like SSC, CGL, CHSL, PSC, Bank, etc. etc. So, dear student, if you haven't followed my previous videos till now, kindly browse through the playlist of my channel Competitive English. You will find all the videos necessary for all of you. So dear students, let's get started. Kindly keep your eyes rolling across the board. Now in the exam you will be given four options. Out of the four options, you will be asked to find out the error. Sometimes it is also said that you are asked to find out the error and also correct the sentence. But here in this class, I will just discuss the error detection not the correction you can say not the error correction or not you are going to write the correct answer it is all about error detections but you are not asked to detect errors and correct the sentences now look about the first sentence he is working in a bank for the past several months now there are four options he is working here is a mistake in a bank here is a mistake or for the past several months here is a mistake or no error if you think there is no error at all in the sentence then you have to go for the option no error now if i just look over the sentence properly you will find that the sentence belongs to the present perfect continuous tense as some action has been going on for some times at the present time. Whenever some action goes on for some time at the present time, the sentence generally qualifies for the present perfect continuous tense. While the present perfect continuous tense is there, so two octave verbs get used, has been or have been depending on the sentence construction or the subjects. Now here we have already written the sentence in the present progressive tense. It is not about being progressive rather it is all about being present perfect progressive tense not about being present progressive tense. Okay. So the mistake lies in the first part symbolizing he is working. This portion symbolizes the tense and the tense should be present perfect continuous tense not like present continuous tense now if i just look over the next question he asked me why did i call him a rogue rogue means wicked persons or notorious person something like that now there are four options as you can see you asked me why did i call him a rogue etc etc now the sentence is in the assertive construction or statement whenever you are going to form the sentence in the assertive or statement you have to follow the sv order here the sv order is followed but here again we have gone from this part we have gone for the interrogative order so we cannot write sentences in this way that in one sentence we are going to form the assertive in the same sentence we are also going to form the interrogative either we have to go for the assertive or interrogative but we cannot punch two things into one sentences but here two meaning assertive and interrogative both are punched into one sentences so it is incorrectly incorrect so automatically the second portion that I am going to say did I call this is the mistake actually the question the answer should be like he asked me why I called him a rogue we can also say but we cannot say why did I call him okay particularly in the indirect speech now if I just look over the next question were you given a choice or you had to do it were you given a choice or you had to do it 
Now, if I just look about the proper sentence construction, the sentence is based on the interrogative format. Generally, in the interrogative format, we place the VSO order format. That means auxiliary verb, subject, main verb. So, up to this one, there is no mistake. But whenever we are going to join the sentence through the linker or, we have gone for the assertive format. So, it should not be the case here. It sh should also be the interrogative format. So, the question will be like this. Were you given a choice or did you have to do it? Or did you have to do it? But here we have written a straight cut assertive form. Even after placing the interrogative format before that. So, the mistake lies in the second part means you had to do it. Okay. So, it is not about no error. Now, if I just look about the next questions, Sangha is bigger than any city of the world. There are four options. Sangha is bigger than any city of the world or no error. So, whenever we are going, there are three degrees in English, positive, comparative, superlative. Whenever comparison is there, so after then we should write any other, no other or all other. Again, I am repeating, when a comparison is there in English, we should write, we can write any of the three. This means any other, no other, all other. Here any is given, but any other, this word, other is not given. So the mistake lies in the second part. What I am going to say is that whenever competitive degree is there, after placing the conjunction then we should write any other, no other or all other in general cases. But here other is greatly missing. So it should be like any other city or no other city or all other cities of the world. But unfortunately neither of them is written here. So the mistake lies in that part meaning than any others, than any. City, there is no mistake. Here, the mistake lies here. It should be like any other city. Okay, it should be like any other city. This is the perfect answer. But you are not asked to go for the sentence correction. Just asked to go for sentence error detections. Now, if I just look over the next question, Sheila asks, Sheila not asks, Sheila has scored a first class in the exam. Isn't it? Sheila has scored a first class in the exam. Isn't it? So, where is the mistake lies? Now, this type of sentence is called the question tag. The question tag must be in reference or you can say the question tag must be in parity with the tense of the sentence. But here, the tense belongs to the present perfect tense. On the other hand, question text does not belong so. So, we should write hasn't she subject should also be in parity with the sentence. Here, the subject is not about it. It is all about she. So, the right answer is hasn't she. If we just write it again, Sheila has scored a first class in the exam, isn't it? So, it is all about present perfect tense. We should go for the present perfect tense while tagging the, while using the question tag, number one. Number two, the subject must be as per the sentence. Here, the subject is Sheila. Sheila automatically is a feminine gender. We can easily qualify it with the application of she. So, here, hasn't she? This is the perfect answer. Now, if I just look about the overall question answer, he is working in a bank for the past several months. The sentence belongs to the present perfect continuous tense, not present progressive tense. But unfortunately, the sentence is written in the present progressive tense. So, here is the mistake. We should write, he has been working in a bank for the past several months. Now, if I just poke our nose into the second question, he asked me why did I call him a rogue. Rogue means notorious person or you can say wicked person. There are many words. So hooligan, you can say also hooligan, ruffian. There are many words. But here the sentence, this part belongs to the statement 
unfortunately the second part is written in the interrogative format it should be it should and must be in the statement so the right answer is he asks me why i called him a rook not like why did i call him in the second in the third question where you given a choice or you have to do it now the sentence is based on the interrogative format you have to go for the order vso vso mean auxiliary verb subject main verb unfortunately the first part belongs to the vso but second part we are going to join the sentence with the conjunction or or you can say other you can also write other as here so this part is uh, this part should, should also belong to the interrogative format but here written in the statement format so this is the mistake so the mistake lies in this part it should be like did you have to do it in question number 4 we should write after in the competitively we should write any other no other or all other unfortunately no such thing is written but it should be like any other no other or all other any is written but no other other is missing so this is the answer in question 5 in question number 5 it is all about question tagging question tagging must be at par with the sentence with the, with the tense of the sentences here the sentence belongs to the present perfect tense unfortunately the question tag is written is not written in the present perfect tense so it should be hasn't and it should also belong to the subject as per sentences Sheila is a feminine gender we should qualify it with the application of she not he so the question tag should be like hasn't she so it is all about error corrections okay so this is my short analysis for all of you for the competitive exams like ssc cgl chsl psc bank etc etc if you haven't understood any part of my short analysis you can easily make your comments in the comment box section if you like my videos you can share my videos and subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell icon for more such video kindly wait for my next class Till then, have a very good day.